2 Corinthians 5 and 11 says, Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's what I'm doing. I've come to persuade men that you need to get right with God. Now, now, now these, these new philosophies that, that, that you can, that, that, that God just takes anybody and everybody, you know, the Muslims and everybody, the, the new age people and, and the gay folks, they go, we're going to all go to heaven and be all in the big cloud up there somewhere, a big misty being. We won't even call him Jesus, just a being, the supreme one. You know, we'll all just get up there one day. If that isn't what this book says, your this doesn't have a that, and it's man's right. Blessed is the man, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He is like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose place does not wither. The ungodly are not so. The ungodly shall not stand in the day of the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the ungodly, the way of the ungodly shall perish. In our society today, I speak unto thee this day, and I say that it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say that I desire that you would be rejoicing in me. That is, even though the world itself is full of darkness, evil, and iniquity, I say you are meant to be rejoicing in me. Because you are not of this world, but I say you are found abiding in me. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call, steadily giving the call, hammering the call, declaring the call for all men everywhere to repent. And I say it is because men are perishing in sin, I say they are daily being taken in death and the damnation of their souls. And I say it is me, the living God, who does delight when men will be ever repentant before me, therefore being redeemed. And I say when they will walk in my humility way, then I say they are found well-pleasing unto me. Now I say it is me, the living God, who does long for children who will give me joy, that I can indeed be found abiding with them. That is, because they have sought to rid themselves of the filthiness of flesh and spirit, and be found abiding in me. For I say it is a joy unto me when men will truly repent, deeply repent, and keep on repenting before me. That is, that they can be brought forth in that which I give them time and again, for I am indeed well equal. Now I say this day, count it a privilege to look unto me, to believe me, and trust me each and every day. And I say, count it a privilege to be guided forth in that which I give to my own. Now I say this day, that I, the living God, do intend that my people would walk uprightly, that they would be coming forth ever uplifted in me. And I say that I do intend that my people would be partakers of that which I give them day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end, the one who is able. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, and guide forth the people who are cleaving unto me. Now I say this day in the days of darkness, the days of wickedness, remember this. Remember that it is me, the living God, who is your light. It is me, the living God, who is your pathway. And it is me, the living God, who will keep you always. And I say that you do not need to be affected by the wickedness, by the darkness, if you will continue to look to me. But I say if you turn aside to look to the ugliness of the world, then I say that the same can easily overwhelm you because you lose your vision of me. I say you are not meant to lose your vision of me, but I say you are meant to continue each day in me. That is, being made glad that it is me you can look to, that it is me that you can believe in and trust. Being made glad that I am the one who directs you each day in the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say, when a people will be ever cleaving unto me, believing in me, they are guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the strength, the truth, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. For I say that I don't have God absolutely will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will walk uprightly in me.
when I say that I will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will cleave to me, believe upon me, and be brought forth in my way. For I say it is a blessed thing when men will partake of what it is that I give them day by day. And I say it is a blessed thing to remember that you can believe upon me and trust me, for I am the way of eternal life. I say this day be glad that you do not need to be found in the weariness, the dreariness, the darkness, the evil of these present times. But you can indeed be uplifted in the purity of the way that I offer to my own. For I say, when you will continue in repentance, revolution each day, then that means you are in revolt against sin. That is, you are not succumbing to the sinful enticements that are all around of those who are destined to be damned. But I say that you are able to keep yourselves in the straight and narrow way that I provide, ever may glad to be serving me. For I say it is me, the living God, and me alone, who is the way that is righteousness, truth, mercy, and hope, and peace provided. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will look to and believe. Let it be me that you will follow after and obey. For I say if you are coming forth uplifted, directed, and ever guided, then I say you are given the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. And yes, you are given the strength that I, the living God, will give thee, for I am indeed well able. That is, I am able to give to the ones who serve me, obey me, and pop up rightly in me the way wherein they are meant to be kept. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to go whoring from me. I do not call you to go in the way of the damned. But I say that I call you to be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that I provide. And I say that I call you to be ever purposed in that which I give you, for it is me, the living God, who delights to give you my life. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth, ever rejoicing in me. Therefore I say in this wicked, perverse, vile, and evil generation, be thankful, ever thankful, to look to me, to believe upon me, and trust in me. And I say, be ever thankful that for me you are given the hope always, for I do give you the same. I say you are not meant to be in despair, in hopeless despair, but I say you are meant to be rejoicing in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who has given you my life in the midst of death. For I say, when you look upon men in their sins, when you look upon them in their hateful, bitter dispositions towards me, know they are abiding in death. That is, there is nothing that awaits them except the damnation of their souls. And I say, if they steadily refuse to repent, then I say they are sealed in the choices they make against me. And I say that damnation will be where they are found forever, because they have rejected my mercy. Now I say, when you see such ugly fools as try to justify their sin, their darkness, their evil, and want you to be feeling bad because you have told them that it is sin, I say, do not accept their accusations at all. But I say, continue to refuse, refute, and rebuke the unfruitful works of darkness. For I say, you are not meant to be companions to those who are an abomination in the sense that you approve their vile acts. But I say you are meant to be ever steadily standing in me, standing in the righteousness of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, and me alone, who is the way of righteousness revealed, who is the way of mercy and truth and hope intended. And I say if it is me that you look to day by day, it is me who guides you forth in my life. And it is me who will ever direct you, correct you, and give you the instruction that you have need of each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is truly the way of blessedness, mercy, and truth, and hope provided. Now I say this day, continue to look to me, to believe upon me, and trust me day by day. And I say, continue to be brought forth in that which I, the living God, do offer to my own. For I say, if you are being guided, directed, and corrected by me, then I say you are given the truth and the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope that I provide. And yes, you will be ever brought forth, for I will bring you forth. I say this day continue steadfastly to trust, to believe, to hope in me, for I am the one who gives you newness of life. And I say that I am the one who does direct you and correct you in that which I intend for my own. For I say it is through me, the living God, that the righteousness is revealed. It is through me, the living God, that the truth is given day by day. And I say it is through me, the living God, that you are given the purpose and the plan of who I am. Therefore I say to a people who are faithful, true, and steady, to keep on believing, to keep on receiving, to keep on following after. That is, coming forth ever renewed in me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. 
For I say, when you will indeed be a people who are purposed, directed, and guided forth by me, then I say that you will be rejoicing in me. And I say that you will be made glad that I am the one who guides you day by day. Now I say this day, keep looking unto me, believing in me, and trusting in my way, for it is the way of life. And I say, keep hoping each day in what it is that I intend, for I say to do so is to abide in me. For I say you are not meant to be as the foolish, the dull, the dumb, who take themselves far from me. Nor are you meant to be as the ones who are determined to damn their own souls because they are stubborn against me. Now I say when a man is stubborn against me, contending against my direction, my correction, and my instruction, I say he is not counted worthy of me. And I say it is because through pride he has swollen himself to the point where he thinks he knows more than he knows. And I say that he offends me and keeps on offending me as long as he abides in pride. But I say when a man will truly humble himself in deep repentance, then I say that he's found agreeable unto me. I say this day do not walk in pride, but I say be quick to humble yourself, be quick to bow down low, and be in communion with me. For I say when you will remain in the humility way that I provide, then you are guided in my light. And yes, you are given my truth and my light, my strength, my mercy day by day. And yes, you are uplifted in that which I intend, which is the way of life eternal. I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness revealed. I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. For I say, through me, you are guided, directed, and corrected each day in the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, the strength that I provide. Now I say, this day, do not, absolutely do not continue in a way that is darkness, evil, and iniquity, when you can be found abiding in the light. And I say, do not flirt with the world in the darkness, the evil of the same. I say, do not be in fellowship with those who are full of vileness on every hand. For I say, while you think that you can indeed handle yourself, the truth of it is you are being handled by demons. For I say, when you are in friendship with the world, you are not in communion at all. That is, you are in communion with darkness, evil, and iniquity, and not with the light. I say this day, be thankful that I give you the light every single day, that you can come forth guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say, be thankful that I do instruct you in the way of my righteousness revealed. For I say, if you will continue in repentance before me each day, declaring and living the same, then I say, you are found well pleasing. And I say, you will not be an adulterer with the world, for you will realize the same as death. I say this day, do not choose death, but choose the life, the light, the strength of who I am, and be made glad to be guided by me. That is, ever instructed, directed, and brought forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness that I provide. And I say, be made glad each day that you can continue to be purposed in me, the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. For I say, if you will be accepting and not rejecting of my light, if you will be walking in my truth, if you will be thankful for the same that I say you are brought forth, ever made glad in me. But I say, if you are choosing to be losing by whoring yourself out to the way of the world, you are gone in the way of a fool. And I say that you will not be counted worthy, you will not be considered wise, but I say you will receive the reward of fools. I say this day that I, the living God, do not want you to die to perish as fools, not at all. And I say that I take my time and I take my strength to guide you in the way of my life. Therefore I say, be thankful even now that you can indeed be found abiding, ever living, and partaking of me day by day. That you can indeed be ever purposed in the blessedness that I give thee, for I am the I am. And I say, when you will walk in truth and light and direction, accepting correction, then I say you are able to continue in the repentant way. But I say, when you give way to the leaven of pride, you give way to the deceit of the same. I say this day, do not be easily deceived and taken away, do not be found going a whoring from me. But I say, be found ever faithful and true, committed to the way that I give thee, and remaining in the same. And I say, be made glad that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and strength and hope provided. Here's the king in the Bible, and when he dies, you can deceive yourself by sin. The Bible says, harm your heart, go to the deep end of the pit, and call yourself saved. But you're going straight to hell. The Bible says, 
I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not